Welcome to this edition of Psychic Medium, Tony G. For as long as I can remember, I have been a psychic, a medium, and a channel. I know it is my purpose and it's my passion to help people with these gifts. Each and every reading is completely different, but each and every reading is completely important to the person receiving it. The messages that come through make total sense to the person receiving the reading, even if they don't make sense to me. The reason is, it's not for me. Often there are things I don't understand, I'll get a word, and the person sitting across from me will know exactly what that word or symbol means. And that's the important part of this. Today, I have a very, very special guest. Danny is here to get a reading. Hi, Danny. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. So thank you. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm so grateful that you're on the show and able to do this. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Excellent. So I normally say, would you like to start with a question or something else? But I, I need to tell you there's a, um, your mom has just stepped in. Your mom has been, <laughs> been appearing a lot. Every time I think about this show, I see her face. So I want you to know that she's um, next to you on your right, um, standing next to the chair. And there's a gentleman that's tall and thin next to her. And I'm guessing, because they are next to each other, that that would be your father. And behind them, there are many others um, that have come in. They're not all making themselves visible to me. Uh, they will if it becomes pertinent. But right now, these are the two most important people for your reading today. And of course, the first thing they want you to know and this is the case in most readings, and it, 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 it really is so important for them to let you know how much you're loved. Uh, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to uh, tell you what they're saying. Okay. And one of the things that they're saying is that you have forgotten how amazing that you are. And you have forgotten how beautiful you are. And that breaks my heart because I know how amazing you are. Danny's a really good friend of mine too. And you have forgotten that you have power and you are not using your power. And they, wow, this is a great way to start a show, isn't it? Oh, let's break out the tears right away. Three seconds in, boom, boom. No messing around today. Um, and they want you to know to get back into your power, to reclaim your strength, and to be the beautiful butterfly that you are. And don't, don't concede, don't concede, don't concede. Now, this might not make a lot of sense to people who are listening, but it doesn't need to. Do you know what this means? Okay, good. That's, that's all that matters is you understand what they're saying. They also want to tell you that you have, you have been neglecting this, your heart. You have been neglecting your heart and you have not been uh, taking charge. And again, that goes back to your power. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if this is your mother or father, but one of them is saying very strongly, you are not a doormat. You are not a doormat. <laughs> 
<laughs> and don't be one, yeah. don't be one. So she's very emphatically mm -hmm. with the finger going mm -hmm. and just being very protective mm -hmm. and wanting you to know you didn't come this far to be here, okay? So this is their beginning message to you. And they also want you to know that uh, Grandmother German, Grandmother German is here. Okay. And of course, pa Papa, Papa. Mm -hmm. So you should, you, you probably are very well aware of who that is. Mm -hmm. And then that they are also um, in alignment with these messages of love and to know that. You have an amazing spirit and you have an amazing belief system and you are becoming uh, afraid, afraid in that. And just to stay strong, to recoup or regroup and to... Uh, Get that stubbornness back from when you were 16. <laughs> Nobody could tell you anything. <laughs> and you ruled it. You mm -hmm. owned it. And they just want you to be back in that space again. Okay. Okay? Wouldn't it be nice to be have that 16-year-old mm -hmm. attitude mm -hmm. with our wisdom? Mm -hmm. That would be so great. Oh, goodness gracious. So, um, and then, of course, they want you to know that you are just so loved. And they, they just want you to know how beautiful you are and how proud they are of you. Look at what you've created. They're saying, look, look at what mm -hmm. you've created. You've created so much mm -hmm. for so many. And you have such a gift. You have such a gift of love. And in your work, that shows. And in your family, that mm -hmm. shows. And they're so happy for that. Good. They're so very happy for that. Now, do you have any questions about anything I've just said? Oh, no, it makes perfect sense. Do you want to ask them anything, or do you want to move to your list of questions? Um, well, it probably pertains to them as well. Um, so, well, two things. Are they hanging out for me, or who are they still hanging out for? Well, and that, thank you. That's a great question. They hang out for everyone. They'll be there until you are there. So they'll be with you until you go home, okay. until you join them on the other side. Um, one of your children is very gifted, and they talk to her often. <laughs> and they are... Can I get her to sleep through the night? Can not I? yet. <laughs> that's gonna, I'm hearing that's going to be in about a year. Okay. In about a year, she'll be able to sleep through the okay. night. And a little magnesium before she goes to sleep will help to relax her okay. and help her get through the night. Okay. And other things um, but they really do guide both of them and and also that they will be there uh, you know they're like this I think this is I, we're not going anywhere <laughs> you can't get rid of us that easy and then they're laughing so they want you to know that it's not something you need to accomplish it's a given mm -hmm. this is where they want to be to help guide you with love and light until you join them. And then once you're there, that's all you'll want to do for those that are still here. Okay. You'll just go, oh my gosh, I wish I could just get it through to them how easy it is and how loved they are and how amazing they are. And that, that's what we want to do once we're on the other side. Mm -hmm. We only see the beauty. That's it. Well, Lexi wanted me to ask about Lexi. So she wanted to know if there were any messages for her. Uh, yes. Okay, so the first thing I hear is limelight, and I think you know what that mm -hmm. means. I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> so get ready, Lexi. Um, by the age of 12, uh, there will be some... Now, everything in life is a choice, I must say, before I go any further. If this opportunity comes and it's declined, then this will not happen. But I feel like 
by the age of 12 or at the age of 12, there will be an opportunity. And um, I'm seeing WB and I'm seeing cameras. Okay. And I feel like her gifts are going to take her and into the limelight or put her in front of people. Over the next year or so, she's going to be honing them and understanding them better, and some of that fear with them is gonna go. Okay. And um, she is going to really just own it and be able to have pretty much do what I do okay. and, and, and help others with that. And it's going to be pretty amazing if that goes forward. I really hope it does because I see her being very powerful, a very powerful influence in this whole thing. I if asked makes... her if she had shut it off recently and she said no. No. She doesn't talk about it much anymore. But um, she mentioned, and my mom always does that. She Like when I'm falling asleep, I can feel, you know, yeah. my mom. And she's like, I get, grandma gives me chills too. So Isn't that a... Mm -hmm. Those confirming goosebumps mm -hmm. or confirming mm -hmm. chills, I love them. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love them. Yeah, she, she, she's around all of you all the time. Okay. Um, actually, your, your father the, and, and is, is more around your other daughter more. She has more of that masculine personality, mm -hmm. yep. that stronger personality. Mm -hmm. And where she's going in her future with the whole, if she does choose to follow that whole um, architectural building, uh, thing. I don't want to use the word construction because a new build type of thing. Uh, that's where your father is going to really take the lead with her and help her and kind of, I don't want to say hone her into that, but mm -hmm. his masculine energy is going to come in mm -hmm. very strong for her okay. as well as his business set is also. Okay. Absolutely. Good. Good. Um, so, Lexi wants me to ask about Millie. We're having some problems with Millie. We don't know what to do with her. Um, she's very stressed and she's not doing well. Okay, so can I please ask, who's Millie? She's clo her Lexi's cat, and ever since we got Bailey, she's not, she's not doing good. She can't, she probably can't stay with us. Okay, um... I just hear fear, 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 and there's there's a lot of um, I don't. Uh, this is the way this is going to sound is not to, for Millie. There's a lot of chaotic energy in the house, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, it, with or without Bailey. There's a lot of chaotic energy in mm -hmm. the house. There's a lot of um, a lot of loud noises, and Millie is a very sensitive also and doesn't always um, respond well to that so, like kids running up and mm -hmm. downstairs and stuff like that would be much better in like an uh, uh, elderly person's home okay. where she could just sit on their lap and be yeah. petted all day yeah. and there's not a lot of chaos or running around in the home so the more energy that comes into this home the more stressed out Millie will be so this is a big concern for Lexi because she, she's got to go and she wants to know if we're going to find a place that's, you know, going to be safe for her. She wants, a, of course, she says, ask Miss Tony if she'll take her. <laughs> it's and like, I was like, okay, I'll ask. But <laughs> uh, Miss Tony's a little allergic to cats, <laughs> so I don't know if that's the best uh, fit. But I do know people who I'm thinking of one woman right now who had to let go of her cat due to age and might be a perfect okay. match okay. for Millie. But um, I feel like Lexi is actually going to place, she's going to find the person that she feels is the most perfect person for this cat. Okay. And she's going to um, be able to then be comfortable. That's what she's looking for. Rehoming her. She wants to make sure she can place her. 
Yeah, it's really important. To, she has to know she's going to be okay. Yeah. She just has to see that for right. herself. It's going to be very devastating for her. Right. Too, because she's going to, she's the type of person who takes on the responsibility. She'll carry the guilt. For until yeah. after yeah. the fact. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I have to think about what other questions yeah. I had. Um, we talked about the kids and my parents. Um, what about health issues like with? Michael or anything that is, I feel pretty healthy now. I feel pretty good. So yeah. just worried about, you uh, okay. know. Okay. So for Mike, um, you know, there's some stuff going on with his brain in his head area and what I'm seeing in, it connects to the heart. But in a physical way, not mm -hmm. so much an emotional way, but mm -hmm. more of a physical way. There's a lot of stress on the heart and the... There's a lot of stress on the heart, uh, almost like it's not getting, like it's, it's stressing to pump, like it's really hard to beat. It's not beating as easily or naturally as it should. And also, I feel like there's something restricting the flow, restricting the, the beating, and that's also in the, in the brain area, uh, that there's not a full flow and an easy flow of the blood. I feel like something's going on. I don't know if it's necessarily clotting or something else, but something's going on that is definitely restricting some blood flow here okay. or making it more difficult for the heart to work appropriately. If this hasn't started, it's going to start soon. So he can take some pre-measures. He can be proactive about mm -hmm. this. Um, maybe get, it's gonna be a stint. There might be cause for a stint, but it goes beyond that. It's almost like the heart can't, it just can't beat appropriately. Mm -hmm. So whatever that is, it's, it's doing it, but it's almost like it's really hard for it to do. Like me after a couple flights of steps. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> it's really tough. Yeah. Um, but 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 then the other thing is his liver. His liver is very very polluted right now. And I'm sorry I'm being so. Mm -hmm. They're just flying these words out of my yeah. mouth because if I would have known that was going to come out, I would have totally tried to preempt mm -hmm. that and soften it. But they're saying his liver is muddy and he needs to. Oh, they are not mincing words on this one. <laughs> he needs to really clean it up and he needs to really change some of his stuff uh, because that liver is really muddy and it's really to toxic right mm -hmm. now and he needs to fix that. Nobody can do anything about it except for him. Right. Um, this is why some of his behaviors have been the way they have been. Uh, he's had some, this I can, he might not have been as calm as he could be. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is toxins running through the body and the stress that comes with that. So they're saying definitely if he can get some of these toxins out of his body and the stress is better, then he is going to be a little bit calmer. Now, um, uh, So when I'm doing this, I'm hearing stuff, and then I'm filtering. <laughs> filtering, <laughs> perfect word, <laughs> filtering some of it. Um, there are some things going on with him that you might not be completely aware of at this time, but you will be soon. Okay. Um, and that might be medically or other. Uh, but don't worry, everything always comes to the light. Um, did you almost find out something about a week ago? 
or have an inkling of something mm -hmm. about a week ago. Mm -hmm. I have goosebumps on the top of my head to the tips of my toes. Girl, you need to follow that. Okay. Like a hound, you need to follow that. I don't know what it is, but you know what it is. Mm -hmm. They know what it is. They're confirming it in a big way for you. Okay. You are not wrong. You are more than right. Okay. 100% plus 10. Okay. Okay. I can let that go now. Folks, let's move on. Um, <laughs> so they want you to know that that is absolutely correct. Okay, I said we can move on. <laughs> um, sometimes they really like to hammer a point home. <laughs> so the, the other thing is that you are... Um, did you have a next question? <laughs> no, I would like to hear the other thing. <laughs> they said, you are going to be finding this out soon. So they were saying it again. And I'm like, I think she's got it. We can let it. And they're like, no, because she's going to, she might think she's not ready to get this information, but you're more than ready to get this information. You've been looking. You've been looking for something. You've been looking for a justification. You've been looking for anything, and there's been more than enough, and they're finally showing you. Okay. Does that make sense mm -hmm. to you? Okay, mm -hmm. good. You have plenty of you have plenty of resources and help all around you. Do not worry. Do not fret. We got your back, Jack. Okay. That's what they're saying. Okay. <laughs> that is their quote. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Um, so, uh, Lexi wanted me to ask you about Bailey, too. Oh, Bailey's a little stinker. Yes, he is. He is. Yeah. He's such a little, he is a puppy's puppy. Mm -hmm. Like, he has so much love, and so, he has these eyes that are just yeah. amazing, and he is just sweet to the core. Just yes. sweet to the yeah. core. Yep. And what they're saying is he just needs to be loved. Mm -hmm. He just, as long as he's loved, he's going to be good. Mm -hmm. And he is going to have, Let's excuse see. me, he is going to have a really, in about a month, dynamics are going to change. Okay. And he is going to have a lot of profound changes once those changes come in. Okay. Everything's in a, everything is a choice. So when they say in about a month, dynamics are going to change, again, that is all of these choices are going to be yours. You're the one making these decisions. You're the one who's going to choose this. If and when you do, this puppy is going to turn into an amazing dog and you are going to be so happy with okay. this puppy. So um, just know that, okay? okay. Excellent. Cool. Hey, and he is such an incredible protector. Or he's, he's going to be. Yeah. He's he going is. to be such an incredible protector, yeah. too. Yes. 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 Um, what else do they have? Um, what about Chloe? Chloe seems, um, well, like you said, more masculine, but she's very to herself. I mean, she's shifted a little bit. You know, she's gotten more, you know, loving and stuff. But, like, the horse thing... She doesn't have any interest in it anymore. It seems like it's, you know, like gone. Um, I just don't know what it is that, that, like, excites her, what her passion or what she's, she doesn't share any of it. Yeah, she's going through a stage right now. Um, okay, she, she is... She's a very remarkable young girl. She's extremely remarkable. What's her age again? She's going to be 12 in the end of the week. Yeah. Um, she's trying to figure something out. She, she's very, how do I say, she's very intellectual inside. So when she gets information, she sits and she works it all out 20 different ways from Sunday and right now she's trying to work something out in her head. She's trying to figure out the dynamics of something um, and what that means and what it will look like for her. 
and Chloe is the type of person where <laughs> I love your girls. Um, she definitely is going to figure out the centerpiece which is her before mm -hmm. she figures out all the other pieces. Mm -hmm. Like, how does this affect me? What does this do to me? Mm -hmm. How am I going to work with this? What's going to happen about this? And then she figures out where the rest of the pieces fall if it matters to her. Mm -hmm. So what she's trying to figure out right now has something to do with a family dynamic mm -hmm. and how that might possibly look in every given scenario. Don't worry. It's going to work out okay. As soon as this happens, all of her passions will come back and her safety will be re okay. Does that make sense yep. to you? Does, mm -hmm. does that? I hope so. I yep. hope so. Yeah. So, yeah. So we have probably time for one more question if you had one more quick question. Oh, I don't. Well. Or um, I can tell you. Yeah, what why don't your you tell me? Mom and dad yeah. want to say. Yes, please. Okay. So there's an uncle here also, and there are other relatives coming in, but the uncle said, uncle, uncle. Um, so what they want to tell you is that you are, you have everything it takes. There is nothing missing from you. You are such a brilliant, beautiful person. And they want you to know that you are the one really with the power, even though you don't know that mm -hmm. you have that power. You are the one with the power and the control. You're just terrified to use it. And their parting message to you is, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? And OK, so one more. If your daughter were in your shoes, what would you want her to do? Thank you, Danny, so much for being on the show today. And we are going to continue this conversation when this is done. It's just that time flies when we're on air. <laughs> so I want to thank you for joining us today for Psychic Medium, Tony G. I hope this has helped you to understand that those who go home never leave us. They're always with us, guiding us and showing us love in one way or another. All the hard feelings from the past leave as soon as they leave their body. For more information on me, you can go to tonig.info. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. And I look forward to next time. Thanks.